we left off on level seven, uh, which in which we talked about um, borders and border radius. So you should have a different color or different style border on your uh, dessert pictures here. So I'm gonna press finish. Okay, so we're gonna do levels eight, nine, and 10 in this video. So the first thing we're gonna look at here um, is the float property. And the float property is something that can make your web page look really professional. So I'm gonna click over to the style.css page and if you scroll down to the image styles, which start on line 15 here, you can see on line 16, there's a rule that says float left. So what that means is put the picture to the left of the text. So what we can do here is we can see if we like it on the right. Because when you make your website, you ultimately have the choice if you want to float your image to the left or the right. So I put it on um, the right here, which I think I kind of like it on the right better, but you can leave it on the left if you prefer it there. So that's all we're doing on level eight. I'm going to press finish. Okay, level nine deals with the width and the height of our pictures. We can also create different heights and widths for different aspects of our page, like a paragraph, for example. But let's click over to the style.css, and what we're gonna do is just practice with the width rule right here on line 17. Right now it's set to 250, but we can try making that a little bit bigger by typing in 300, which makes our image larger here. Or we can try making it a little bit smaller, like 200, and that makes the images even smaller. So I'm gonna leave it at 200. We can also try adding a height rule. So right underneath here, I'm just gonna add a new line of code here on line 18 and I'm gonna type the word height and put my colon. And I'm just gonna try experimenting here with, let's just say 100. Whoops, 100 PX. So this is actually going to like scrunch up the images. It doesn't really look good, but it's all about experimentation and trial and error as to what height looks good. Um, you don't need to put height. If you just put width, it will automatically adjust um, the height of your image so that the image is in proportion, if that makes sense. Um, what we can also do, as I mentioned, is add a width rule to our paragraphs. So right now we don't have a width rule, but let's just say we wanted to make the width of the paragraphs the exact same as the width for our pictures, which for me right now, the width of my pictures are 200 pixels. So if I go underneath to my paragraph rule set, which begins on line 26, and I type width 200 pixels, I can see that that makes my paragraph a little skinnier. So I actually don't like how that looks, so I'm gonna try increasing that a bit to 250, so I think that looks a little bit better. All right, so that that is good for level nine. I'm gonna press finish. And here on level 10, we're gonna talk about margin. And I think margin is one of the most important properties for making your page look good. Because when we first make our page, um, we tend to have all the text up against you know one side of the page not sure what's going on here I'm gonna take that off here all right now that looks better okay um so we tend to have all of our like things touching the side of the page so um, right here we have a margin rule so let's let me show you what happens when we increase that so look at your picture and let's increase that to 20 so basically what that does is it adds more space around this picture. So I didn't really feel like we needed 
additional space around the picture, but I thought that we needed it around our text. So what we can do here is we can add a margin to the entire page on the body, which will just give it kind of like space all over. So if we do margin, and we're adding this to the body, so margin 20 pixels, um, this actually makes everything look just a little cleaner in my opinion, and it brings it off the left margin of the page. So all we did there is we added a margin to the body of 20 pixels. So that just made the, the page look a little bit cleaner. So if you want to see what this page looks like when you're done with it um, in a larger screen, don't forget that you can expand your screen right here and you can kind of see um, how it looks because how it looks in a larger screen is a lot different than how it looks on this uh, half screen right here. But um, that is all for lesson 10, guys, and, uh, and those pretty much conclude the layout properties.